Hello guys, bigger for support up to this milestone 1k subscribe. Be blessed and loud and without wasting time, let's dive into desktop publishing practical where we'll be designing a book cover guided by KCSE 2013 and 2016 computer studies paper exam 2. Let's start. We will be designing a book cover is directed by the following questions and TTT looks like the one you can see on your screen right now. My DTPA software is Microsoft Publisher or else MS Publisher version 2019. Our publication file name is book cover, opening and performing basic page settings before commencing. Basic settings, page size should be A4, orientation should be landscape and margin should be either 3 cm or 1.18 inches depending on your computer unit settings whereby other unit settings may include pixels and pickers. Be keen and learn how to apply them as I do. Page size A4 landscape, margins, uh, we have to go to custom margins and set them to be 1.18 left, right, top and bottom. Then once you're done, click OK and you'll be done with everything. The book cover contains three sections, back page section which is equal to front page and middle section. I'll apply the measurements as indicated in the equation. From page design, I will apply two column guide to divide my page into two, front and back page, and end up applying the center part which is meant to hold pages together. So the spacing should be 0.7 inches as indicated in the equation, and then I add a center guide between the columns and click OK. Now, insert one rectangle measuring 7.1 inches by 4.9 inches. And this is how you do it from uh, shapes, then draw it here and by default you shall find that ours is the height is 0.35 inches. We need to make it to be 7.1. It's shown in the question paper. So just edit from this point 7.1 and the width should be 4 point, let us confirm, which is 4.9. So type 4.9 and I press enter and it is done. Align the rectangle following the center margin guide and we don't need to design another one We can just copy and paste for front page Then we drag it with respect to the center margin guide Design named for the top part of the cover page. We need a rectangle Then apply a dark background Then change this background to a gradient and end up centering the text as I will show here So let's uh, format the text by bolding and even going to format and then center aligning it from the alignment option center center like that one. Now we will design the bottom part similarly by adding a rectangle at a text box to hold the text quick revision guide as shown here. So just plot it as you can see here and then now we're going to apply a border make it a bit be a thicker like this and then change the background we also need a text box to hold quick revision guide and pick that one draw it at the center type the text which is a quick revision guide and then, then we apply a, a white background Nevertheless, we need to bold and center align the text in the text box as I've done here and then applying the white background. Add another text box just below here to hold Nyota Publishing Press and bold the text as I'm going to do right now. So that's the text box and then the text inside it as we center align and bold it. Now, Let's insert a right angle triangle and then rotate or simply flip it to fit to its position as shown on the screen. Drag it to its location as indicated and then perform some enlargement to make sure it fits accordingly. Then we end up applying a white shading in the shape. Now let us add the text revised edition 2012 and rotate it to fit its place.
now concerning the laptop you can see here it is just a rectangle so we are going to draw it and then we increase the outline and apply a gray background as you can see on your screen so after the gray outline you also need some light gray shape fill to create the effect of a screen as you can see now so now let us create uh, or insert another shape to represent the bottom of the keyboard part which is this one oh here is it now flip it vertically and resize it to fit the screen length Now add the, uh, the bottom rectangular part to create a 3D effect. As you can see right now, a rectangle and draw it here up to the end, exactly. So now let's apply a common background or shading to the keyboard and the bottom part. So select them and now let's go to shape fill and apply some gray color. Then that's all we are going to add a black outline to all of them and therefore we are going to select all the shapes then group them together so that we may add a black shading as our one object now the two triangles you can see here is a combination of two isosceles triangles with gray shading and with no outline therefore insert one gray uh, triangle then add a sh that kind of shading uh, you can also insert another one similarly apply the same same format in features and rotate it as you can see here and now that we can combine the two to form a star shape fill remove the outline so group them by selecting the two rectangle the triangles we can also copy to get the right hand side uh, triangle all stars so drag it to the right hand side and then we are done now let's copy and paste the same stars to the center part of the cover page minimize them and apply a different shading The rest of the center guide requires a gray background with text between, as I'm going to do right now here. Then the text, it is beginning computer studies, so you just add a text box here, and drag and drop. On the same move, a gray shading will be okay for a back page, and then followed by a rounded rectangle with a white shading. Right click the rounded rectangle and add text as required. Now select all the text and adjust the font size to fit in the space available and if necessary adjust the line spacing. And this is how you remove the information. Just make sure you uncheck it and then click OK. Now we need to add the bottom uh, text but we can just copy this one here, Nyota Publishing Press and drag it to this point and just make some little modification as from the question paper. So reduce the size and then add add. Finally, designing the barcode. 
draw a white shaded rectangle, remove the borders. Then once you're done with this, get a text box and type the ISBN code, apply some changes in character spacing, add some single lines with different weight, and the deal is done. Thank you for watching. I believe you have learned something new. Let me know via comment section your thoughts concerning this tutorial. I'll appreciate a subscribe or a like or share or both. Happy designing.